guys also today i'm going to show how to create the waving glow effect in after effect so without wasting any time let's jump into it yo we are back in after effect and i have this clip in our timeline which i'm gonna make the effect on so i'm gonna make his jacket glow so select your roto brush tool and start rotoscoping out whatever you want to glow on your video if you don't know how to rotoscope i will leave a tutorial down below so you can check it out so once you're done rotoscoping make sure to freeze it so it's locks on your rotoscope then your clip should be selected out now i'm gonna duplicate this clip and delete the rotoscope from the bottom layer like that to start off i'm gonna add a turbulent displacement then make the size to like 35 and you can bring up the amount now if you have red gen universe you can add like heat wave onto this then bring up the heat intensity to like 100 then you can make the flow speed to like 70 and you can also bring up the blur amount mm, i guess i'm gonna turn down the size of the turbulent displacement to to like here then add like deep glow to give it a really cool glow and i'm gonna lower down the threshold and bring up the radius of it and click on mold on here like required for text here to remove that black as you can see we already had that look then you can also put like gaussian blur into this if you like to like really small amount around to like eight or nine or something like that whatever suits your scene then to finish it off i'm gonna pre-comb this and i'm gonna add a rsmb rsmb pro then i will turn on the use gpu then i'll make the blur amount to like one i guess and the motion sensitivity 200 if you don't have a gpu you can just turn this off i have gpu so i will leave it on on and another thing you can also do is just copy this heat wave effect so we have the crazy heat wave going on let me show you real quick how that looks like you can see it has that momentum going on and you can also go into distort settings and play with the settings too like bring down the size whatever you like you can do with it for now i can i will also bring down the size a little bit so i think it looks good enough now to make our effect more pop i'm gonna add a hue and saturation and then just bring down the saturation of my background layer like that or you can also and also you can bring up the opacity and lower it down but i'm not gonna do that right here so our final effect looks like this if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and you can also follow me on instagram because i'm really active in there so see you later bye